Welcome to our home, welcome to Bunker, welcome to uh, number 20 Plumpton Road, uh, Bunker Housing Co-op. This is one of our first two houses that we finished in 2020. We've been living here now for two years. It's an eco home built of cross laminated timber panels. So well, how does Bunker work? Basically, Bunker, um, our housing co-op, we are what's called a fully mutual housing co-op. So as individuals, we weren't able to get a mortgage, but registering as a co-op, you become a legal entity and that allows you to take out a commercial mortgage. So basically, the bottom line is being a co-op allows us to do things collectively that we couldn't do individually. For us, from the beginning, it was very important that the house is going to be very good quality. Mm. So, you know, we could do things very differently, but that was very important mm. principle to make it last as well, but as well be healthy, be eco as much as we could do it. It's a house who is well designed, mm. um, safe, all of these things mm. which you kind of mm. cannot get when, when you rent. They've got high ceilings, they've got big windows and stuff like that. So it's, it's kind of a... A really, we wanted a livable space and actually it's good architecture, right? Done well. You come in here, this is the main open plan living area. Lovely big windows. This is one of the lovely things about the house, isn't it? Agatha? Yeah, we, we love it because in spring and summer we actually got it open very often. So it kind of makes that inside, outside living possible and it's really lovely. And then out the front, there's a kind of shared communal garden yeah. area, isn't there? Yeah. Um, so every, you know, there's that kind of bit of, everyone's got their own yes. front door. There's a bit of private space, bit of communal space. So each house has got a budget to do their own kitchen. And we, we chose this one, didn't we? Um, which we like very much. Everything is electric here. There's no gas. No gas, no. Um, And so induction hob and nice um, dishwasher sink. And then we've had a nice hut hole here where you've got a fridge freezer and a washing machine and a little place where I could stuff all my tools. Ago and I, we sanded these walls, yeah. didn't we? Um, and uh, Paddy, my son and I, mostly Paddy, he's a joiner and we made all the skirting boards and the window reveals. Who is as well a uh, member a of Bunker. Member well, yeah. Yeah. Going through that process of kind of making that thing from the ground up and engaging with the city, that kind of gives you a sense of belonging and a sense of ownership over the city and over the area and over the place that you are like we can stay here like we can be here now we can stay and live and work and play in the place that we want to we've chosen to be here you know we got back a little bit of city mm. which could be like if council couldn't build here they would probably sell it mm. and um no we kept it it's not exactly a privatized solution it's something else you know it's it's kind of it can never be sold it's for the city, will always be for the people that live in the city. That's a single bedroom that at the moment is uh, used as a study and a spare room. And then in here, there is a double bedroom, but I'm not going to open the door because there's a teenager yes. that uh, <laughs> lurks oh, in there. Oh, yeah, lives in there. <laughs> yeah. Hello. So upstairs, oh, you can see here, like where the house, how the house comes together. Yes. You know, these are quite hefty sized panels, aren't they? And they weigh a lot. But the house feels, you can feel it, right? It's solid. What's it like, Aga, having having this lovely bedroom? Yeah, it's 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 one of my favourite rooms. Yeah. There is not a day we take it for granted. Yeah. It really is not. Um, it feels like our house, right? And mm, it's ours as long as home, we want it. Our home. Because home. it's not our house, but it's right. our home. That's and right. I think that's the difference. Right. I think not owning things gives you a kind of freedom. But I mean, it's interesting that you say not owning, because I, I mean, it's, it's kind of, when you sort of break down, what, what is a homeowner, individual home ownership supposed to do, right? Okay, okay, people said the same thing. Why would you do all that work if you're not going to make any money yeah, out of it, right? But it's not, people don't, you know, ownership is not just about making money, is it? And, and also, it's kind of supposed to confer on you all of these things, which is a feeling of home, of safety, of security, of belonging, of, 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 of not feeling that someone could come and take it away from you at any point, right? And I think all of those things, we have those more in 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 a co-op so, so yeah. i hope you've enjoyed the tour yeah <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming yes thanks yeah. for coming yeah. thank you very much yeah. Yeah.